they call him Kipper. Kipper the dog. Now he can do this. Do you think that you could? And he can do that, which is more than any old cat could. You like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like a dog, like Kipper. I'm practicing. Wendy says we're going surfing today. Bob, I meant surfing on the internet. Oh. We've got our own website now. Oh, that's brilliant. How can people find it? Well, the address is www.bobthebuilder.com. See you there. And Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we? Bob, we're going to finish that garage job off today, aren't we? Yes, we are, Scoop. And the mayor's going to be really pleased with it. Automatic doors and everything. Just the place to keep his official car. Only the roof to put on now, eh, Lofty? Uh, the roof's going to have to wait until tomorrow, Bob. Oh, but I promised we'd finish it today. And I... Wendy? Oh, you look lovely. Very nice. But, um... Aren't you going to get it a bit dirty at the building site? <laughs> oh, Bob. We've been invited to lunch at the town hall, remember? Oh. Oh, yes. But we got the invitation ages ago. They've probably forgotten we're coming. Bob. And they'll have to wear a suit. And I hate wearing my suit. And the mayor won't be pleased if his garage isn't finished on time. It will be finished on time. Scoop. Yes, Wendy? Do you think you could look after the garage job for us? You mean... Me? In charge? That's right. Really? Wow! I bet... It's a secret, Scoop. Bob doesn't know. Ah, uh, 
Bob, I could look after the garage job for you. You mean you in charge? Yes. I mean, I mean, you're a brilliant teacher and you've taught me everything I know and can I fix it? Yes, I can. Now, go and get your suit on, Bob. Oh. oh. Right. Muck, Lofty, we've got a job to do. Right. Muck, Lofty, we've got a job to do. <laughs> Thank you, Dizzy. Right, here we are. Muck, I want you to bring the roof sections and pass them to Lofty. Lofty, you'll hoist them up and... And what are you going to do, Scoop? Me? I'm in charge. Oh, yes, of course. You're in charge. That's right, Muck. Steady as you go. Careful now. Easy does it, Lofty. Aren't you going to help? I am helping. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> I'll just go and see how they're getting on at the garage. Uh, there'll be plenty of time for that after lunch, Bob. What, what if they... Don't worry, Bob. Well, a anything could... Scoop and the team can handle it. But, um... Bob, you'll get your suit dirty. And we'll miss the soup course. Oh, all right. Good. Now, let's get your tie tied. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, 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 dear. <laughs> Come on, Lofty. That's right. Well done. OK, Muck, let's have the last bit of roof. Look out! <laughs> Only joking. I wasn't really going to drop it. Mark! We've got a job to do here. Stop messing about. Stop messing about. Now, look, oh. Muck, I'm really... Uh, oh, 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 um, Mr Bentley, hello. Oh, hello, Scoop. Is, uh, is Bob around? I've, uh, come to inspect the garage. Bob isn't here, Mr Bentley. I'm in charge today. I'm in charge today. Yes, um, Bob and Wendy had an important lunch to go to, so they asked me to look after the job. Well, Scoop, I'd, uh, I'd better begin my inspection. Right, uh, let's see now. Walls. One, two, three, four. Check. Roof. One. Check. Adequate clearance and breadth of access for mayoral vehicular conveyance. Check. Well, Scoop, that all seems to be in order. Well done. Thank you, Mr Bentley. Oops, nearly forgot. Uh, is something the matter, Mr Bentley? Yes, Scoop. I never tested the automatic door. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, here you are, Mr Bentley. The remote control. Oh, near... Oh, oh, dear. Oh, um, maybe something's loose, or, or maybe... Oh, no, 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 now, don't worry, Scoop. Probably nothing to it. I'll, I'll take a look, but I, uh, I better take my jacket off first. And my gold watch. I wouldn't want anything to happen to that. It was presented to me, especially by the mayor, you know. Can you fix it, Mr. Bentley? Oh, Scoop, stop! Oh, oh, no! What was that noise? Too late, Scoop. Too late. Well, that wasn't so bad after all. A lovely lunch. And I got a special presentation watch to thank me for all the hard work I've done for the town this year. <laughs> Wendy, did you know about this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I wanted it to be a surprise. Well, it certainly was. Let's go and show the machines. Oh, oh they'll be really proud of you, Bob. Oh, dear, oh, dearie me. I'm sorry, Mr Bentley. I didn't realise... It's all right, Scoop. Accidents will happen, you know. Hey, look what I've got. The mayor gave it to me for... Um... Oh, no. What's happened to your watch, Mr Bentley? Oh, Bob, it was all my fault. I... I sort of wasn't looking where I was going and I... Now, now, Scoop. It was an accident, Bob. My fault for putting it on the ground. Oh, dear. Um... Look, Mr Bentley, 
This watch is a bit too delicate for me to be taking on building sites and stuff, so I'd be very honoured if you'd accept it as a replacement for your broken one. Well, thank you, Bob. That's very, very kind of you. Much appreciated. Right. Better get going now. Oh, I, uh, I nearly forgot. The door doesn't work, Bob. Cherry bye. Door? What door? The automatic door. Mr Bentley was trying to fix it and, and that's when I squashed his watch. Oh, there, there, Scoop. Oh, dear. Of course it doesn't work. There aren't any batteries in the remote control. Batteries? Of course. <laughs> Perfect. The mayor's going to be really pleased. Good old Bob. I knew he could fix it. Yeah, yeah Bob, well done, really Bob. Really, really, really good at fixing yeah, good old Bob. Oh, what's the matter, Scoop? I let everyone down, Wendy. I got too big for my boots, well, my tyres, and, and I squished Mr Bentley's watch, and Bob must be really disappointed with me. Of course he isn't, Scoop. It was an accident. If anyone's to blame, it's me. I mean, I shouldn't have asked you all to... All all. Hello, Mr Bentley. Ah, oh, Bob. Uh, hello. Uh, look, I'm, uh, I'm sure that watch the mayor gave you meant as much to you as mine did to me, so uh, I had a word with him about the uh, accident and... How you gave me your watch, and uh, he was so pleased with his new garage, he asked me to give you this. Oh, Mr. Bentley, thank you. Scoop, I think you ought to have this. After all, you were in charge of getting the garage finished on time. Wow! That's really nice of you, Bob, but are you sure? I, I was horrible and bossy and... Oh, Scoop, you weren't that bad. It was quite funny, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you keep the watch, Bob. Anyway, I haven't got anywhere to put it. Good old Scoop! Oh, yeah! Yay! Scoop, oh, Scoop, oh, Scoop, 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 Yeah, yeah top man! Scoop. I promise I'll never be bossy again. They get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Right then, Scoop. Let's go. We've got to finish repairing Farmer Pickle's old cottage. He's got some friends coming to stay with him, so he needs it done today. I'll bring the garden gate up as soon as I've finished it off. OK, Wendy. See you later. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right then, Scoop. You finish clearing the garden. No problem, Bob. And I'll repoint that brickwork. Uh, what's repointing, Bob? Well, Lofty, when the mortar between the bricks has come loose, like this, you have to put new mortar in. Um, can I lick some mortar for you, Bob? No, <laughs> I'm afraid not, Dizzy. I need to use my mortar board for that. Uh, all right. Right, that's the repointing done. 
Lofty, you can go and help Scoop now. Uh, okay, Bob. You come with me, Dizzy. I've got a job for you inside. <laughs> okay, Bob. Right. We've got to fix up this old fireplace. But I'd better clear that rubbish out first. Oh. Ow! Are you all right, Bob? Yes, but there's something prickly in there. Oh, wow! <laughs> it's a little hedgehog. There, that's the gate painted. Great! Let's take it up to the cottage. Oh, not so fast, Mog. I need to get some hinges first. You can take me down to the builder's merchants. OK, Wendy. See you later, Rowley. Bye, Rowley. Bye! Bye! Oh, look, everyone! we found a hedgehog! Is it asleep, Bob? Yes. I expect it's hibernating, Scoop. What? Hibernating, Bob. It's when an animal goes to sleep for the whole winter, Lofty. It's very important that they're not woken up. But what shall we do with the hedgehog, Bob? Well, we can't put it back in the fireplace. I think we'd better take it to the yard. Wendy will know what to do. We finished clearing the garden, Bob. I could take the hedgehog in my front scoop. Good idea, Scoop. There. Now be very careful, OK? You mustn't wake him. No problem, Bob. See you later. Hi, Rowley. Where's Wendy? Oh, she's just gone to the builder's merchants with Muck. The builder's merchants? Fantastic. That's my favourite place. I'll go and help. Oh, oh, I nearly forgot. What's that? We found this hibernating hedgehog up at Farmer Pickle's cottage. It's gone to sleep for the winter, and Bob says it mustn't be woken up. Oh, right. I know. I'll sing you a lullaby. Rocking and a rolling hedgehog, rolling and a rocking all winter long. Hey, Pilchard, you mustn't wake up the hedgehog. Hi, Rowley. Where's Wendy? I could give her a lift up to the cottage with the gate. Oh, she's gone to the builder's merchants, Farmer Pickles. Oh, I see. She's left you in charge then, has she? Uh, oh, um, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in charge. Um, Wendy will be back. Uh, soon. Ah, oh, well, not to worry. I'll call in again later. Thanks, Rowley. Bye, Rowley. Bye! <laughs> Pilchard, I told you, don't wake up the hedgehog. <laughs> oh no, shush everyone! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Pickles! Oh, help! Farmer Pickles! Farmer Pickles! Stop! Oh, hello, Rowley. What's the matter? Come quickly! It's Scruffy and Pilchard. They wreck in the yard. Scruffy? But he's in the trailer. Oh. They're going to wake the hedgehog up! Hedgehog? Oh, dear me. Follow me! <laughs> Scruffy, stop that! I think you'd better get back in the trailer. Hedgehog is still asleep. Yes, but look at this mess. We'd better clear it up before Wendy gets back. Oh, well, 
That's everything tidied up, Roly. Yeah, thanks, Farmer Pickles. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, uh, Wendy. Just popped in, you know, um, just to see how everything's going. Well, the gate's ready. Um, I've just got some hinges for it. Well, I can give you a lift up to the cottage. Oh, how kind. Oh, I'll just fetch the gate. Everything all right, Roly? You didn't wake the hedgehog up. I... Uh, course not, Stoop. The hedgehog's fine. Oh, except I forgot to tell Wendy about it. Bye, everyone. Hey, Wendy! Why did I see... Oh, it's too late. She's gone. Oi, you two. Let's have a game of football. I'll go and go. Hey, oh, stop! There's a hedgehog sleeping in that box. Phew. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to leave this little fellow on the ground. Anything could happen to him. You could say that again. We'd better put him somewhere safe. There you go, Hedgie. You'll be safe in there. <laughs> I think we're just about finished. Except for the garden gate. Hello, Bob. You're right on time. There. Now we're finished. What do you think, Farmer Pickles? It looks great. <laughs> And the gate's perfect, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Bob. Thanks, all of you. By the way, Wendy, how's the hedgehog? What hedgehog's that, Bob? Oh, dear. Rocking out a rolling hedgehog. Rolling out a rocking ball along. Hello, you two. How's the hedgehog? Is he OK? He's fine, Bob. Look. <laughs> oh, yes. One hedgehog fast asleep. <laughs> and look, Bob. One steamroller fast asleep, too. Uh, he's really hibernating as well, Bob. No, Dizzy. He's just tired out. I can't think why. It's not as if he's had a busy day or anything. the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Everyone. Hello. Hi. Bob, are you ready to put up the new shed for Farmer Pickles? Yes, I am. I'll need Scoop, Mock and Dizzy to prepare the foundations. Brilliant! And I'll whitewash the farmhouse. Lofty, you can help me with the higher bits. I hope they're not too high. Well, hello, Pilcher. Do you want to come too? <laughs> come on, then. You can hide in my mixer. <laughs> come on, then, teams. Let's go. Can we? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Right. You two can take all that earth off and dump it at the landfill site. Brilliant! I love it there. It's so, so mucky. Did you hear something just then? <laughs> no, Bob. Hmm. 
Right then, Dizzy. I need some cement for these foundations. So, let's get mixing. Um, Bob? Don't worry, Dizzy. I'll fill you up. Here we go. On the count of three, one, two... <coughs> ah, Pilchard. What are you doing here? Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Pilchard wanted to come along too. Well, Dizzy, a building site isn't really the best place for a cat. But I can't take her back to the yard now. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> hello, Lofty. Wendy, Spud's here. Oh, hello, Spud. Can I help you? Well, uh, we're doing all right at the moment, thanks, Spud. Oh, please. Farmer Pickles won't mind. I suppose it can't do any harm. Hooray! Spud the Scarecrow becomes Spud the Decorator! Oh, I don't like you, Wendy. It'll be fine, Lofty. I'm sure Spud's going to be extra specially careful. Isn't that right, Spud? I'll be really careful, Wendy. I promise. Oh, Wendy! Spud's painting the lamp! Just a minute, Lofty. This is quite a tricky bit. Spud's on the job, Wendy! Spud! You're supposed to paint the wall, not the ladder. Oh... Hello, Bob. Are you ready to collect Farmer Pickle's new shed? Won't be a minute, Travis. I'm making the cement nice and smooth, the foundations. Pilchard! It's all right, mice. Huh? Oh, no! Look out! The cement! Dizzy to the rescue! Oh, no! Dizzy! <laughs> That's all right, Dizzy. Just need to smooth it over again. There. All done. Sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Dizzy. At least Pilchard and the mice didn't end up in the cement. Travis, I think we'll take Pilchard with us to collect the shed. Right, old Bob. Dizzy, can you guard the cement while it sets? OK, Bob. Oh, no, Mr. Crow! Oh, shoo! Shoo! Oh, don't land on my cement! Oh, oh, you're not scared at all, are you, Mr. Crow? Oh, I know. Will you promise to keep off the cement if I give you a ride in my mixer? Brilliant! <laughs> Please. One fresh tin of paint coming up. Oh, goody. Red, Lofty, pass this paint up to Wendy, please. Uh, OK, Spud. <laughs> no, Scruffy. I can't play with you now. I'm working. Oh, no. Spud, did you pass up a tin of red paint instead of white? Don't you like it, Wendy? Honestly, Spud, I thought you were going to be careful. Sorry, Wendy. Tizzy, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Bob. Oh, I've been trying to keep everyone off your cement. Well, you've done a great job, Dizzy. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. But, but I think I'm much better at mixing things than scaring birds. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Bob. Oh, hi, Wendy. I'm glad you rang. I'll need Lofty soon to help me with the shed. OK, Bob. How's the whitewashing going? Spud's been trying to help, but, well... It seems to be taking a little longer than it should. Well, maybe I can do something about that. I think we might get both our jobs finished more quickly if we swapped helpers. Oh, you know, Bob, I think that might be a very good idea. Oh, Wendy, I think I'm better at scaring crows than decorating. And a scarecrow is just what Bob needs at the moment. Really? Spots on the job! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
can't stop now. I've got birds to scare. Sorry, Spud. I've got mixing to do. Hello, Wendy. <laughs> Ooh, what's happened to the wall? Oh, Dizzy, how can I paint over this mess? Um, oh, I know. If we mix some red with some white, we can then make a pink wash instead of white wash. Dizzy, you are clever. Come on, then. Let's make a start. Hi, Bob. Here. Can I help you build the shed, Bob? Thanks, Spud, but that cement's not dry yet, so I need you to guard it. Spud's on the job, Bob. Oh, oh hello, Farmer Pickles. We've just finished. Well, I never, Wendy. I thought you were going to paint the farmhouse white, not pink. But I must say, it looks very nice. It was all Dizzy's idea. Well done, Dizzy. Ooh, <laughs> thanks. Right, we'd better get over to the field. Bob will need you to help with the shed soon, Lofty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Bob. How's the shed going? Just finished, Wendy. Guys! Guys, I don't like him! I don't like him! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Spot on the job! Oh, help! Oh, oh, help! Oh, get off! No! Get out! Oh, <laughs> oh dear! Poor Spud. Come on, Lofty. The mice have gone. Let's get this shed into position. Oh, and then can we paint it, Bob? Yes. We've got lots of paint left over. Oh, well done, everyone. <laughs> the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So. Bill, Chid and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. <laughs> Right, you'd better get going, Bob. You've got lots of telegraph poles to put up. OK, Wendy. I'll call you when I need Muck and Lofty. Don't worry, we'll be here. We're stock-taking. Can we fix it? Yes, you can! Oh, dear, I think so, yeah. Right, team. Are you ready for some stock-taking? Yeah, I'm ready, Wendy! I don't know what stock taking is. Well, Rolly, it, it's when you count up all your bits of material and equipment and you see how much you've got and then you write a list. Oh, I understand. Now, I want you to count everything in the yard while I take care of things in the office. I'll come back soon to see how you're getting on. <laughs> Yippee! I love counting. Rock and roll! I'll count the pipes. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, ah, ah. What comes after four? Oh, let's see. Seven pencils, five packets of paper, four rolls of sticky tape. Oh, hello, Pilchard. What have you got there? Oh, <laughs> just Bob's old work clothes. <laughs> Well done, Scoop. Time for a break. I've just got to phone Wendy first. OK, Bob. Thirty-seven paper clips. Oh. Hello, Bob's building yard. Hello, Wendy. How's the stock taking going? Oh, fine, Bob. Oh, by the way, I found some of your old work clothes under the desk. Oh, yes. I was going to take them to the recycling bin. But I forgot. Well, I'm going into town later. I'll take them if you like. Thanks, Wendy. Anyway, I just called to say that I'll be needing Muck and Lofty pretty soon. OK, Bob. Bye. Right, Scoop. I'm off. Won't be long. No problem, Bob. See you later, then. <laughs> what you doing, Scoop? Just having a break before I start work again. Oh, you're always working. Don't you ever have any fun? Of course I do. I like a good laugh. Well, how about having some fun now, eh? Um, what sort of fun? Fun, fun. You know, playing jokes. <laughs> Messing about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is my break. Great. Come on, then. Right. Muck and Lofty, Bob needs you. He'll meet you up at the farm, OK? OK. Let's go. Bye, Wendy. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> oh. Here he comes. Hello, Travis. Do you like my magic bale of hay? Hey? What's magic about her? I can make it fly, like a magic carpet. No, you can't. You're having me on. Oh, yeah? Watch this, then. Abracadabra. Lift me up now. Oh, uh, it is magic. <laughs> Come on, Scoop. Let's find someone else to play a trick on. Six and another three is um, nineteen. Is that all? Yeah, Scoop. Lift me up. <laughs> Just wait till Muck hears my scary voice in the sky. Oh, what a laugh. <laughs> now you go and hide. Okay, Spot. Here he comes. Oh! Oh! Uh, what's that? Oh! Beware the voice in the sky! Oh! Oh! Uh, oh. Sounds sounds like a ghost! I'm off! <laughs> Hang on, Scoop. Let's have some more fun. Let's find Lofty and give him a fright, eh? Oh, no, Spud. Lofty's really scared of you. Anyway, my break's over now. I've got work to do. Oh, you're no fun. I'll have to go and find him myself. Oh, um, let's see. Um, Farmer Pickles Farm is this way. At least I think so. Here he comes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, better than I could have hoped for. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Lofty. Come on, you can get up again now. What do you mean you can't? Oh, oh, I can't. Oh. oh no! Hang on, I'll go and get help. 
Scoop! 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 What is it now, Spud? I'm busy. It's Lofty. He's stuck on his side and he can't get up. You've got to come and help him. Stop messing about, Spud. I've got work to do. But, Scoop, Lofty really is in trouble. What's all this about Lofty being in trouble? Lofty's stuck. Honest, Bob. Well, he should have been here by now. Better safe than sorry. Come on, let's go. Lofty! Don't worry, we'll soon have you right side up. Oh, I hope so. Right then, all together now. <laughs> there, Lofty. Are you all right? Oh, oh I think so, yeah. Thanks, Bob. Oh, thanks, Scoop. Better thanks, Spud. He was the one who came for help. Um, well, um, it was my fault, really, Bob. I, I gave Lofty a fright, and that's why he got stuck. Oh, I see. Well, what do you say, then, Spud? Sorry, Lofty. Oh, that's OK, Spud. Steady as you go, Lofty. Well, that's it, team. Another job well done. Even if Spud's little pranks did hold us up. Yes. It's not so funny when someone plays a joke on you. Spud never thinks of that. Oh. That's given me an idea, Scoop. Oh, for you, we've finished. Oh, you've done very well, both of you. Oh. Hello, Bob's building yard. Oh, hello, Bob. Yes, your old clothes are still here. Why? Oh, well, fun's over. Time to scare a few crows. Here, yeah. hang on. Who's this? What's he up to? Didn't Farmer Pickles tell you? He's decided you're too naughty. He's got another scarecrow instead. What? Hey, hey, he can't do that. What about me? Oi, you can't stand there. I'm the scarecrow around here. <laughs> Ah. Ooh. Surprise, surprise, Spud! <laughs> Here, Bob, that's not funny. Come on, Spud. I thought you liked a good laugh. Oh, well, I... I suppose I do. <laughs> Here, you can borrow me nose if you like. <laughs> And Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. So. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we? On you lot, we'd better get a move on. We've got a big job on today. Great! What is it? Mr. Bentley's asked us to get the old bandstand ready for the summer concerts in the park. Wow! Brilliant! A bandstand? What? You mean for a real band? That's right, Roly. And Farmer Pickles is going to be the band leader. Oh, All right! Wow, that's that's rock! And oh. no! <laughs> Steady on you two. It's not that sort of band. It's a brass band. They play lots of oompa music. What? <laughs> you mean like, um, oompa, 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 oompa. 
I'll stay here, Wendy, and make the new flower boxes. You can take Scoop, Lofty and Muck and start clearing the site. OK, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. What are you doing, Farmer Pickles? Well, this is the music for the band, Travis. All these dots and squiggles tell you what notes to play. And I wave this stick around to keep everyone in time. Um, ba, ba, um, ba, ba. Oh, I see. Um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa. Um, pa, um, pa, pa. Right, come on, Travis. We've got to get to the print shop. Everybody in the band needs a copy of the music. <laughs> Go on, fly away, crow. Go on, shoo. Ah, ah. Uh, where are you going, Farmer Pickles? There's going to be a big concert, Spud. My band is going to be playing in the park. Playing in the park? I love playing in the park. What are you playing? Football? Hide and seek? <laughs> <laughs> Not that sort of playing, Spud. Anyway, we can't stop. Hey, wait for me. I want to play in the park too. Wait for me. Your roof, check. Weather vane, check. Oh. Hello, Wendy. Everything's present and correct. Thank you, Mr Bentley. It, uh, it will be ready for the grand opening, won't it? Of course it'll be ready. Don't you worry, Mr Bentley. Very good, Wendy. Oh, pa, pa, oh, pa, pa, oh, pa, pa, oh, pa. Hello. What's this, then? Oh, there's lots of paper. I wonder what it's for. Aha! Spud's paper planes! Look out, crows! Yeah. Ow! 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 Brilliant fun. Spud! Uh-oh. Spud! Spud? Oh, hello, Farmer Pickles. What's the matter? You haven't seen my music, have you? I've lost it. I didn't know you could see music, Farmer Pickles. I thought you could just hear it. Ah. Very funny, Spud. Anyway, shouldn't you be working? Yes, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. Oh, dear. The band can't play without music. What am I going to do, Travis? Come on, Farmer Pickles, let's keep looking. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've just unloaded all the broken bits of bandstand at the dump. Oh, well done. Next up, the garden centre to pick up the flowers. Great. You could take these flower boxes now. It'll save having to come back for them. Good idea, Bob. OK, Wendy. I'll see you back at the bandstand. Right, Muck. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's get to work. <laughs> Was great. You know, you lot make a pretty good band. It's no good, Travis. We'll never find the music. I'll just have to call everyone and tell them that the concert's off. Oh dear. <laughs> Bob the Builder? It's Farmer Pickles, Bob. Bad news, I'm afraid. 
I've lost all the sheet music. Oh, no! So I've had to phone and cancel the band. I'm really sorry, Bob. Everyone was looking forward to the concert. I know, Bob. But we can't play without music. Wait a minute. I've had an idea. Get round here as quick as you can. I think I know where I can find a band that doesn't need music. <laughs> Another victory for Spot the Scarecrow! Hello, Farmer Pickles. Is it time to go and play in the park now? Nobody's going to be playing in the park, I'm afraid, Spud. Oh, dear. Well, why don't you play with one of my paper planes instead? Oh, thanks, Spud, but it's not really the same as playing a concert. Hang on a minute. Where did you get this paper, Spud? Um, I found it, Farmer Pickles. But, but you... This is my music. Where's the rest of it, Spud? I used it to scare off all the crows. As some of it's in the top field, some of it's in the bottom field. Oh, no. Is something wrong? How many times have I told you not to play with things that don't belong to you, Spud? Lots of times, Farmer Pickles. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. I think you'd better come with me. You've got some explaining to do. Oh, I'm really sorry, everyone, but I didn't know all that old paper with dots and squiggles on was Farmer Pickles' music. Oh, I don't know. Oh, dear. I've messed things up again, haven't I? Well, yes and no, Spud. You see, we've got another... Oh, Bob. The new bandstand looks splendid, but uh, where's the band? They should be practising, shouldn't they? Uh, well, they won't be able to play, I'm afraid, Mr Bentley. You see, I was going to get the music copied when I lost it, and then Spud made some paper planes. Music? Paper planes? I, I don't understand. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. Everything's fine. We've got a new band. A new band? Yes, us. We'll play. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Who needs an umpire band when we've got Bob's bandstand rock and rollers? Bob. Did I ever tell you I used to play the spoon? 